Well, pulse crops are helping to overhaul American diets and play a large role in organic and regenerative agriculture. And agribusiness companies like Columbia Grain, which is one of the largest processors and exporters of high-quality pulses in the United States, is excited to help cultivate the industry's growth. Russell, uh, regenerative agriculture is a term used to describe farming practices that help reverse the climate change by rebuilding soil organic matter and restoring degraded soil biodiversity. It kind of results in both carbon drawdown and improves the water cycle uh, around those that land. Regenerative agriculture does no harm to the land, but improves it using technologies that regenerate and revitalize the soil and the environment. Regenerative agriculture leads to healthy soil capable of producing high quality nutrient dense food while improving rather than degrading the land and leading to productive farms and healthy communities and economy. Seth Goodman is a farmer from Big Sandy, Montana, and is finding success with regenerative agriculture in his cropping rotations. I like it because peas add nitrogen, alfalfa adds nitrogen, clover adds nitrogen, and I'm in an organic system, so I'll put those in and follow up by wheat, and I'll, I can get anywhere from 12 to 16 protein wheat, and Organic prices are pretty good, and they're friendly towards good quality. So the regenerative part of it, I guess, is it helps the cash crop. And as interest continues to grow, pulses are well-suited to help meet the needs of both farmers and consumers. Pulses are really an environmentally resilient crop. and They deliver high-nutrition foods to people, and they're critical nutrients for biological ecosystems. For soil, it's essential for plant life and 95% of the global food supply. Pulses such as lentils and dry beans and chickpeas are nitrogen-fixing plants that benefit soil health, leading to better growing conditions for themselves and for other plants. In Billings, Russell Nimitz, MTN News.